In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace the sky of a landscape in PS Touch. Alright guys, let's begin by importing the landscape. So click right here, photo library, and this is our landscape. Let's just add it in. And now, we're going to erase the background. So I'm going to use the marquee selection tool. We want to remove the sky. So just select like this okay and i think you should fade it a bit so click right here click on feathering so right here i think i'm going to fade it a bit done so now we're going to subtract the light as from this selection so click on your quick selection tool Think you should make the brush size a bit bigger just click right here until you see subtract yeah so you can drag right up so now what you want to do is to click right here and hit clear and bye bye so now what you want to do is to click right here deselect and add an empty layer sorry a photo layer from photo library pick up the image of the sky then click on add so i'm going to scale it to fit okay done and just take it to the bottom like so so let us transform it again so it can match the perspective take it to the top yeah click on done so now we have replaced the sky what's left is to blend it in so click right here click on this icon duplicate it so we can have a backup now we can click here First of all, let's reduce the saturation. Reduce the saturation a bit. Done. So now what you want to do is to duplicate it again. Click right here. Click on select pixels. Click on effects. Stylize. Then gradient map. So for the brightest color, pick the brightest color of the sky. For this one just pick the color that follows for this one i think i'm going to pick this reddish color and for the black i think maybe yeah let's make that darker maybe a bit more maybe a bit more saturated like so and done so now you can click right here and deselect so let's play with the blend mode overlay screen I think lighting do a better job so sh lighting normal I think I think overlay is fine we just have to reduce the opacity okay so before after the now let's merge down and come over to adjustment so click right here click on curves so i think i'll make the alert a bit brighter yeah why add some red to it should we reduce the red at the shadows no Go to the greens. I think we should reduce the green at the shadows. Maybe we should take it up at the highlight. No. So just put it right somewhere here. Yeah. Come over to the blues. I think we should increase the blues at the shadows. Take it down at the highlight. So. Done. 
and this is how easy it is so before after this is the overall before and after before after so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye